Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin. Leo, there's a group of people here. There's up to four people. Something needs to be resolved. And it will be due to common sense. There's one person out of that group that is presenting uh, in such a way to try and resolve this argument. Avoid arguing with anybody that is antagonizing you. You've got a mix of different signs here. You've got Pisces, you've got Aries, you've got Leo, you've got a fellow Leo, including yourself. So two Leos in total. Um, you've got Taurus. Now this couldn't have happened at a worse time. If you were hoping to reconcile, we are at a standstill. We are at such a distance from one another and there is, there's no two way street. There's no leeway here. This is the coming together of four people and no one's willing to stand up and just call it a day. The only one, the only one thing I'm seeing here is that that might end up happening um, is that you might end up shutting this down, you yourself. Maybe Pisces might agree with you, but I really don't see this ending anytime soon, whatever's going on here. I do feel that there's some bad blood between four people and it seems to me that whatever you had, whatever this was, is no longer. So there is that to be mindful of. I mean, if you can try to reconcile and try to work things out, great, all the better. But I honestly feel that this friendship, this connection between four people, it had to end in order for you to free yourself. So in order to, to be free from whatever started this in the first place. And I feel that this has been lingering, you know, and it's Everyone trying to trying to find some sort of a solution. Nobody's actually really going out of their way. You know, once once the four of you leave each other's side, you're out there doing your own thing and not even thinking about each other. Full stop. With that being said, it's not the end of days. It's not the end of the world. You know, not every relationship, friendship is, is going to last forever. And I think the four of you have just now realized that it's it's like beating a dead horse. You know, why would you do that? Why torture yourselves into this friendship, this connection, when it's far from being one as we speak? It's as, uh, it's as I said, it's, it's been a long time coming for this to finally come to an end. Sometimes we say goodbye to what no longer or who no longer serves, you know, so on and so forth. Sometimes we say goodbye because it is necessary. It is very necessary. You know, at some point there may have been a love triangle somewhere in this connection, but that doesn't even matter now. That doesn't even scrape the surface. Um, now, it may or may not be what you wanted to hear, but it is not, as I said, the end of the world. You really uh, take a lot of things to heart this week. Try to move away from that energy. You might be over-emotional. You might be oversensitive. You might be wanting to clear things up with people that, as I said, whether they're meant to be in your life forever or not, you know, sometimes we really look at it at that type, the, the type of situation we're in. And we, you know, I think this week you're, you're sort of, you're all about getting together, becoming one as one with people, whether they're your friends or your family. And I just don't feel that you're really seeing the bigger picture. Um, you might even choose to remain as, uh, you know, being the peacemaker. You just feel that it's the right thing to do. Good luck with that. It's honestly, it's, it's not going to bring you what you had hoped and it most certainly will not bring you what you in fact do deserve which is happiness pure uh, purity honesty love uh, undivided attention think about these things you might say to yourself no i'm good i can manifest this i can manage this i can bring us all together and everything's going to be great i can talk about it with whomever i'm involved with but things they look a little stale thank you leo